Hi, this is Stephanie with Healthcare EDU. I'm gonna show you how to properly wash your hands. So I'm not touching the sink. There's a separation between your body and the sink. All right, I'm turning the water on to hot. Some faucets have the two, hot and cold, but it has to be hot. You can see the red here is hot. I rinse my hands, all right, and no shaking. Your hands are pointing down like this. I'm gonna put a generous amount of soap and I'm gonna, oop, I'm gonna get a good lather going, okay? I'm always pointing down. I do the palm of my hands, the back of my hands, pointing down, my wrists. Some people start taking off their watch. You don't wanna take off your watch. All right, every finger going down. So I'm still pointing downward. So microbes can go down. Every finger going down and nails. And you could do in between fingers as well. So you rinse your hand, try not to touch anything. Rinse your hand, you don't shake. So you don't do like this. After you rinse your hand, like so. And I'm gonna dry, dry from the wrist down. All right, step on the trash. The trash should be a step, but step on the trash, go it away. And now take one. I don't cross contaminate, so I don't bring it to this other hand. Don't do that. Take with one hand, one paper towel, turn off the faucet, step on the trash. Again, my trash in here should be a step, step, and I'm done. If this door was closed, I would take a paper towel to hold on to the door. The fact that the door is open, I walk out without touching anything and my hands wash. Now, for the sake of the video, I'm not looking at the timer. You should do it at home and set your timer to 30 seconds. When you look on the state exam, especially from Massachusetts, it says 20 seconds, but I tell people 30 seconds to totally make sure you're not washing your hands too quickly, okay? So set your timer so you know what 30 seconds feel like. And if you're a mom or have little kids, you know they sing the happy birthday song. So do that for 30 seconds and you'll be good.